What's going on off your heads? Uh, Bruno here again with another mini update. Uh, today is quite exciting because I'll be showing you guys the uh, V3 of the plastics that we mentioned in update 8. So you've seen photos of uh, V2 which are very close to these ones but we've received the plastics so that we can you know run some tests and evaluate every single bit to make sure everything's just like we want it. Um, so I'm going to walk you guys through the more of the details on how it looked like, especially on the head side. The base, um, as you can see, remains the same. So, you know, the base, it's pretty much like a router. So you've got the box, the antennas there. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, so not, not much updates done from V2. Actually, I think no updates done there. Not required. But, as you know, the head side, it's quite complex. Um, so, we've, we've updated the cable, right? And it's that pigtail situation that you guys saw in update 8. We'll be receiving the cables pretty soon. I think on the 25th of this month, we'll receive them and we put them through test. Uh, but here it is, um, the updated head. So, as you can see, there's that extension there. And that's just to hold that Oculink the enclosure right around the Oculink cable to keep it uh, stable so that you have no error in the uh, DP lanes, that's very important. Um, there are a few updates uh, internally that are not too uh, exciting, but the main part is how you attach it to the headset, right? That's very important. So I'll show you guys, um, I've got the parts here. So this is kind of half assembled, but um, I hope you can see the details in there. Um, so we've got one, two parts, um, a Velcro strap, and the headset and the battery over here. Um, so this first part here just goes over the little uh, knob, and it basically has you know two magnets that will hold uh, the head device, and you've got this other part which will hold the battery with uh, magnets as well. And they get attached to the uh, index head strap with an O-ring. Um, so this is, we're trying to, um, so it has to be firm, but we also don't want to damage your headset head strap, uh, which is, you know, something that's quite easy to do if you don't pay attention. Um, but yeah, you've got the O-ring. Uh, you go, you hook it on one end, and you hook it on the top end, and that's it. It's quite it's quite firm in there. So as you can see, the O-ring holds those two hooks there, those two there, two and two. And, you know, after this, for, for the actual head device, you just get in there and attach it to it. There you go. So it just attaches and that just holds it in place. No worries, no wires. Wow, that was cheap, sorry. Um, yeah. And the battery, let me try and show you guys the battery as well. So we've got it here, there's a, you know, a plate on the battery side, magnets on this side. So you're gonna slide that in. Let me just do it like that. So you're gonna slide that in there and the magnet will kind of hold it in place. That's nice and secure. But for that extra, you know, that extra hold, we have these Velcro that just loops and I held the wrong side. There you go. It loops over just like that. So that's your battery there, your battery holder. You can shake your head, do back flips, front flips, you know, kickboxing in VR. It's pretty cool. Uh, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna test the heck out of this thing. Um, we're gonna do all sorts of runs just to make sure it's comfortable it does not affect your index head strap. Um, we do not want to damage that. And to make sure, you know, it holds everything in place. It never comes off or breaks easily or anything like that. But this is it. This is it for the plastics update. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.